Hi everybody and welcome to my Stamparia Songs of the Sea mini album tutorial series designed for Scrap and Create. The products that I am using today from the Stamparia Songs of the Sea collection are listed in the description box below so you can click on those links to go to the Scrap and Create website to purchase those products and follow along. And there are also links to some products available in my Etsy shop, so if you would like to purchase those, you can click on those links too. Stay tuned for the tutorial. In today's video, we're going to begin decorating page one. So I have page one in front of me. And the first piece that I'm going to cut is from the eight by eight paper. I'm cutting down here from the bottom right-hand corner. And this piece is three and three quarters by four and a half. Now I'm going to place this piece here right on the center of my flap. From this eight by eight paper, I've cut from the top right corner, one and three quarters by six and three quarters. This piece is going to go down here, but I'm going to create a swing tab to hold this flap closed. Now I'm going to be using the octopus charm that came with my papers from Scrap and Create. So I'm going to place my paper where it needs to go. Then I'm going to place the octopus on here where it's catching the corner of the paper, but the little hole in it is actually off to the side. Then I'm going to mark that. And then I'm going to pierce a hole down through my paper and take a brad and then I'm going to insert the brad down through my charm and then down through my paper and open this up to the back side. Then I'm going to apply this here onto the front of my pocket. From this eight by eight paper, I've cut a piece to two and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'm going to place this here at the top of my page. Then I'm going to add a very thin strip of adhesive down the sides and close this up to form that pocket. From this 12 by 12 paper, I've cut this top piece to four and a half by three and three quarters. I'm going to be placing this here. And then from the collectibles paper, I cut one of the ships and I'm going to adhere this onto the side, but I'm going to only be adhering the side and the bottom and leaving this top portion or a side portion open so a photo can slide underneath of it if needed. Now that I have my background paper on, I will just add a very thin line of adhesive just down this side here and then decide where I want to place my ship and I'm going to place it actually off to the side of the paper so it's actually on some of the cardstock. It gives a little bit more room for that photo to slide behind and then I'm going to press this down. So now when a photo is in here, it will actually go behind that ship. From the 12 by 12 paper, I did cut this journaling card and I'm going to place this down here in this pocket. Then I've cut a photo mat out of my craft card stock. This is four and three quarters by four inches. From this 12 by 12 paper, I've cut one piece and this piece measures four and a half by three and three quarters. I'm going to place this here on the front. Then from my adhesive paper cutouts, these are already adhesive backed, I'll pull this off and I'm going to place this here on the center. And for the back side, I've cut this piece from this paper here. It was this next section down, four and a half by three and three quarters. I'm going to adhere this to the back side. And then from my collectibles paper, I've cut this seashell and I'm just going to adhere this seashell here as a little bit of decoration. Then I'm going to place this into my pocket as well as that journaling card. 
I've got both of my photo mats in my pocket. I have closed it with my little swing tab. And then from my adhesive paper cutouts, I have this smallest little pile of coins that I'm going to place here, just on the bottom corner of my front flap. Now I am going to come back in later and add some pearls, but I'm going to wait till the entire page front and back is finished before I do that. That way I don't have to worry about it being too lumpy when I go to decorate the back side of this page. So I'm going to leave this on for now and then we're going to open up and come inside. Now I did already place my magnets here. So this is in the center and the center to the magnet from the bottom edge is about a half an inch up. Once you place your first magnet, put your second magnet on top, close your flap, and then you can place that magnet in the correct position. I'm going to use this 12 by 12 paper to cover the inside. So the first thing I did was cut a one and five eighth inch strip off the bottom. Then I cut this here. From this side, I want this piece to be seven inches. Then I cut this piece to four and five eighths of an inch. And this piece is going to go here on this bottom section. Then I cut the top piece off. So this piece is four and five eighths of an inch. And then I cut one eighth of an inch off each side so that it will fit here. And then everything will line up. It'll be a continuous picture. That's why I took an eighth of an inch off each side instead of a quarter of an inch off one side. So I'm going to place both of these pieces down on my page and then I'm going to come back and add a little bit more down here to the bottom. From the die cut assortment, I have my ship wheel and I am going to place this here as a tuck spot. And then from my eight by eight paper, I cut this one tag that I'm going to stick here on my page. So to make this a tuck spot, I'm going to apply my adhesive just to a couple of those spokes. And then place it here in this corner. And then I'll tuck this in here. Now you can add some twine or ribbon to your tag if you want to. I'm just going to leave mine like this for now. I might come back in later, but when you add more stuff to that. It adds bulk and sometimes those magnets don't close as easily. So I'm just going to leave mine as is. So this is it for the front side of the page. I'm going to flip over this direction and here's where you want to be really careful and make sure that you have this in the right orientation. Now my measurements are on here so I know that I will not have to worry about that but I want you to be real careful because if you do it this direction and you start filling out your page, when you go to put it in your album, it's going to be upside down. So make sure you do this now and you flip it like this so that everything is in the right orientation. Using the eight by eight paper, I'm going to first cut this strip off so that this paper here is six and three quarters of an inch. Then I just cut this in half at four inches. I'm going to take this first one with the ship and I'm going to adhere this down here to the front of this flap. Then opening up, I have already placed my magnets. So I placed one here centered and about three quarters of an inch in. Put another magnet, closed it to place this flap or the magnet on this flap. Then I'm going to take the second piece and I'm going to place this here covering this magnet. From my adhesive paper cutouts, I have the ship that's the same as the one on the front of here. And I'm actually going to be placing this here. It doesn't line up exactly, so I'm going to line it up until I like where it looks pretty decent. And I'm going to put this on just because I like the shimmery effect that this ship has. If you don't want to put this on here, obviously you don't have to, but I just like, like I said, the shininess of this to contrast the paper. So I'm just going to place this
right on top and press this down. Then I'm going to open my flap and do the same thing with my chest. Now this one obviously is quite a bit larger, but I'm going to line it up with the corner here of that chest, making sure that it doesn't go into the, the seashell image here. So I'm going to go a little bit higher than what this image is on the paper. Now this one is actually over top of the magnet. I made sure that with my basic gray magnets, it would still hold closed with my paper and then this sticker and then another piece of paper over here on top of this, so it should be good. If yours is not a basic gray magnet and it won't hold, you want to double up your magnets until it does hold so that it's a nice firm hold. So you can hear it and it still works okay. And then, like I said, when there's another piece here, it will still clasp. This is from the 12 by 12 papers. It was a 12 inch strip that we cut off previously. I've cut two pieces to four inches. Then I trimmed it to one and a half inches. I'm going to place one here and one here. And then for here and here, from my 12 by 12 paper, I cut one four inch strip across the top. Then I trimmed these to five and three eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to place one here, tucking in here, and then I will add my adhesive and close this into a pocket. Same thing on this side, I'm going to place this one here and I'm going to close that into a pocket. Now that these papers are on, I'm going to turn these into a pocket, but I'm going to be really careful. This is my photo mat that needs to fit in this pocket, and it's going to be a very tight fit. So I'm going to use my really thin tip glue bottle and place a very thin line of glue here. If you don't have a thin tip glue bottle and you glue this and it's too tight of a pocket, you'll just need to cut down your photo mat slightly to accommodate for that. And I may actually end up having to do that anyway just based on how tight this pocket is once the glue dries. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side since it is going to be the mirror image with another photo mat in here. So I'm just going to add that really thin line of adhesive and then close this up to form that pocket. Now let's see if this fits. So it does for now, but it might be a little bit hard to get my photo mat in once it's decorated, but I'm going to leave it as is for now and remove these. And then we're gonna come in here into the center. So for the center piece, I cut it from this 12 by 12 paper, and this is cut to four and a half by seven inches, and I'm going to just place this right here in the center of my page. From my 12 by 12 paper, this was the inside front cover of the collection, I cut this piece, and I'm going to adhere this here, but I'm only going to adhere this side in this top portion so a photo can slide up underneath of it. So I'm just going to add my adhesive there and here. And then when I go to place this down, I'll make sure that just those parts are adhered. For the first photo mat, I've cut a piece from this 12 by 12 paper that measures five and a half by three and three quarters. 
So that's this piece and I'm going to place it on one front photo mat. And then from this 12 by 12 paper, I also cut another piece that's five and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm going to place it here on the front of the second photo mat. Then from my collectibles paper, I've, got, I've cut out the ship image and then the shark image. Now I'm going to place the shark on this one and the ship on this one, both of them in the center. From this 12 by 12 paper, I cut two pieces that measure five and a half by three and three quarters. Now I'm going to flip these photo mats over and place one on the back of each photo mat in the center. And then from my collectibles papers, I've cut some pieces and I'm going to just place them on my photo mat. This one I'm just going to adhere on the top and the side. And then these ones I'm going to adhere together. And then I'll just adhere the top and the side here so the photo can tuck underneath. Now that I have my photo mats finished, I'm going to place the shark here in this one and it will fit okay so I don't need to trim mine at all. If you do, you can go ahead and just trim a thin line off of the bottom and you can trim it off the top if you want to as well, just depending on how much space you might actually need if you need to trim yours. And I'm going to place the ship in this one. And then go ahead and close my pages to finish page one. So next, the last thing that I'm going to do for my pages is add some of my pearls and my rhinestones. So I will do that on this front side and on the back side. I hope you can see this okay. So I have two crystals here and put some pearls down the anchor and just some across here on this front part. And then on the back side, I've run a whole line down here where those marks were down the page. And then I've put some up here on the Sea Adventure piece. And then I've added my little gear charm piece. This was in my package from Scrap and Create, just kind of almost as like a, it doesn't really help to, to pull the flap up, but just so that it kind of looks like a pull tab. Now that my page is completely finished, I'm going to bring my cover in and I'm going to be placing my pages in as I go, just because I think it's more fun to see it as, it, as you go than it is to do it all at once. So I'm going to set this sideways. Before I put this on, I'm going to double check to make sure everything is okay. Okay, so how I'm going to do this, on this tabbed section with the mitered corners, I'm going to place my adhesive on both sides. Now I'm not going to go past that score line, so I'm only going to do the top one half inch section. Now that I have my adhesive on, I'm going to open up my page and then place that hinge right between the front and back. And then I'm going to slide my page down. It shouldn't be able to slide any further past that score line. Then I'm going to press this down to adhere it to my hinge. So now I'll turn it this way and we have the first page in the album. 
So this is it for this tutorial. And obviously in the next tutorial, we will begin decorating page two. I'll see you in the next tutorial.